back, everybody. Folks, my next guest is an Emmy-nominated actress who now stars in the new CBS show, Doubt. Let's go drink. I can't. Isaiah thinks Sadie's better than me. I need to prove him wrong. He just thought a fresh pair of eyes could help. Since when have I needed help? Why are you taking this personally? Instead of psychoanalyzing me, let's try to figure out how we can make a Jerisi Lester's crazy. 20 years of psychiatric records? They don't buy it. They hear how he's this violent schizophrenic and all they see is a guy taking a nap. His meds make him sleepy. So take him off. Unmedicated, he's completely unpredictable. If I'm a juror, I need to see this isn't some calculated thing. I need to, I need to hear the ranting. Barking. Barking. He barks when he's excited. Please welcome Laverne Cox. That is also a beautiful dress. Thank you. It's lovely to finally meet you, Stephen. Lovely to meet you, too. I'm part of the CBS family now. Welcome. So that means we're in the same family. Have you ever, did you ever imagine that a girl like me would be in your family? <laughs> well, I'll show you my dream journal someday. <laughs> uh, you, is there a drawing of me? Uh, uh, I don't need one, because here you are. Um, speaking of dream journals, mm -hmm. um, this is a fan. May I show this photo? Oh, yes. Okay, all right. This was you last night with uh, Beyonce at the Grammys. Okay. Are you doing okay? Are you going to be all right? Stephen, I met the Queen. <laughs> I met the Queen, and you know I've often imagined this day. I've dreamed of the day. It was actually happened at night at the Grammys last night. And I thought, you know, it's a funny thing is when I was getting ready yesterday, I was like, oh my God, if I meet Beyonce tonight, I'm going to start crying. And I started crying thinking about it in my apartment. I was like, Before alone in my apartment. Oh yeah, alone in my apartment, just in tears. And the interesting thing about when you meet the queen, a calm comes over you. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, this I'm sure happened. She's very nice. I Don't was get me a wrong. calm came over me, and I did not cry. I was strangely calm. I walked up to her. She passed me in the aisle, and then the commercial break came, and I was like, "This is my chance." And I get up, and I'm like, "Okay, Trace, Trace, my girlfriend, Trace is with me. I'm gonna go." So I go, and she's talking to some folks, and she's seated, and she's beautifully pregnant now. And I kind of peek over and I smile at her. And she sees me and her face lights up. And the moment she sees me, she's like, help me up, help me up. Beyonce got up. She got up for me. <laughs> Beyonce got up for me. And she had heard from her, a lot of her people, that I'm a huge fan. She actually sent me flowers. I did um, a Destiny's Child song for Lip Sync Battle, this wonderful show on Spike. Long story short, Beyonce was, I know, right? Beyonce was incredible. She was so sweet, and it was, I was very calm. I got back to my seat, and I cried, but I did not cry when I met her. I'm so happy for you. Thank you that so much. That is a fantastic story. Thank well, you. you also, you were there for the whole night. You must be exhausted. You red-eyed back to the I East Coast? I flew back on a red-eye, yes, and I did sleep most of the time, but I'm completely exhausted now. But oh all for you, Stephen. You look fantastic. All when I do the red eye, my face looks like a catcher's mitt the next day. <laughs> I have an amazing hair and makeup team. Shout out to Deja, who did my makeup, Deja Smith, and um, I'm Ursula did my hair. So I have a really good team. I wish I could say that I woke up like this, but unfortunately. <laughs> well, uh, last night when you were introducing Lady Gaga and Metallica, you gave the audience uh, an assignment, both there yes. and at home. You said, everyone Google Gavin Grimm. Who is Gavin Grimm and why should we Google him? Gavin Grimm is a 17-year-old young man from Gloucester, Virginia, and he is going to the Supreme Court March 28th, and it will be the first time that the Supreme Court is hearing a case on transgender rights. Gavin Grimm had to sue the Board of Education in Gloucester to be able to use the boys' bathroom as like all the other boys in his school are able to because he is transgender, and they enacted a law saying that he couldn't do that. And so Gavin had to go to a bathroom way off, you know, that was, a, a, you know, very much like Hidden Figures, that moment and Hidden yeah. Figures with um, Taraji when she has to walk like 45 minutes to a different bathroom. It's very much like that. And um, so I felt like people weren't talking enough about this case, and this is the first time um, the Supreme Court is hearing a case about trans rights. And if we lose this, our rights could be set back for a really long time. And, like, and I think what people need to know is what my uh, friend Chase Strangio says from the ACLU, is that these anti-bathroom, anti-trans bathroom bills are not really about bathrooms. They're about whether or not trans people have the right to exist in public space. 
Because if we can't use public bathrooms, we can't go to schools, we can't work, we can't um, go to healthcare facilities. So it's really about us having a right to exist in public space. And I exist and I have a right to exist in public space, right? <laughs> CVS is a public space. CVS is a very so public everyone, space. So, so everyone, please stand with Gavin Grimm, support him. He's going to the Supreme Court March 28th, and we have to continue to elevate the stories of trans people. That's why I'm so excited about my new show, Doubt, and you showed a clip of, um, because that's a great way to begin to change the narrative, because there's a narrative about trans people that, that is being per, um, perpetrated that is not really who we are. Your character is also a trans woman. Yes, she okay. is. Um, she's an attorney. Um, um, Doubt premieres Wednesday night at 10 p.m. right here on CBS. Beat me to the punch. <laughs> beat me to the punch. Now, your character your character, Sophia Brissett, yes. uh, was on the other side of the law in Orange is the New Black. Yes. You think your new character, what's your new character's name? Cameron Worth. Could Cameron Worth get Sophia off the hook? Could she get her out? So Cameron's, her. Cameron's a defense attorney, and I believe she could, because Cameron's superpower, according to my showrunners, is that she has a capacity to um, convey empathy, deep empathy, to a jury and to a judge for the clients that she, um, that she represents. So I do believe that she would be able to... Um, make a jury understand why Sophia stole those identities and those credit cards to fund her transition, <laughs> and she would be able to get her off, um, get her acquitted. <laughs> Either one. Either one, darling. Either one. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you for being lovely here. Lovely to meet you as well. Doubt premieres this Wednesday at 10 p.m. on CBS. Laverne Cox, everybody. We'll be right back with Treasure Hunters, Rick and Marty Lagina.